Hello. Uh, I'm from Slovenia and uh, for all participants uh, who doesn't know our country, it is a very small country. Uh, we have two million of inhabitants. So uh, this is uh, the perspective uh, in which we have to uh, to evaluate the position of NGOs and uh, how big they are and how big they can be, uh, which is important for our cases. Uh, so I know we are a bit late and I will be short. I have just one slide and uh, here is a story in uh, five chapters as I titled it. Uh, so, uh, in the beginning, it is important that you know that in Slovenia, the beginning of the COVID pandemic in March 2020 coincides with the change of the government. Uh, and uh, this is right wing government and uh, not very um, well, uh, we are not, uh, the NGOs uh, are not uh, its uh, favorites. Uh, so, first of all, all financial support from the Ministry for Environment uh, was cut out, uh, except uh, the, the calls that were already going on. Uh, and uh, after it, uh, also some um, government ordinance were changed, uh, where uh, for future two years there was uh, already planned some uh, financial resources for NGO support and they were just uh, deleted. So um, this was a financial move and uh, uh, it, it hurts us. Uh, of course, it was um, followed by, um, I would say, uh, publicly expressed uh, view of the government that NGOs are just uh, the useless consumers of taxpayers' money. Um, regarding the legislation, uh, there is, it is important that the ministry immediately outsourced some legal consultants, some legal offices, uh, and they were engaged to prepare new legislation. And uh, first of all, there was, of course, uh, intervention, COVID, COVID legislation, and already in the second uh, piece of it, uh, there was a chapter about uh, EIA procedures in uh, building permits and uh, also the position of NGOs uh, were uh, in, this, in these procedures was rearranged. Some additional, uh, some additional conditions for NGOs to have um, a standing, a legal standing in EIA procedures uh, were set and uh, they were just, uh, I would say, robust. Um, they demand um, more members and more employers uh, uh, in the organization and uh, the conditions uh, uh, should be fulfilled for last two years. Otherwise, all the NGOs that were already in uh, some procedures as a party would drop out. And the, these procedures were, were very targeted. So um, it, was, uh, it was about, uh, and it is about uh, hydropower plant on the River Sava uh, and some other projects. Um, uh, so, uh, this Interventional COVID Act was, um, was the thing, uh, was uh, challenged uh, by three NGOs uh, at the Constitutional Court, and in PITS we prepared the, the uh, appeal uh, in the beginning of May, and in July the court suspended the implementation of the challenged provisions until the final decision. I must uh, say here that uh, we didn't challenge only the provisions that are uh, touching the NGO status, but also other uh, that are going the, against environmental rules. Um, well, this, this was in July last year, but the final decision is not adopted yet. And I'm afraid it will not be adopted because, uh, or it will be, but not in substantial way. Um, 
because uh, the provisions of Interventional COVID Act um, was valid until the this year, until the, the end of this year. So uh, at the end of December, uh, these provisions ex uh, the, uh, expires, and uh, then uh, maybe the court will say, well, there is nothing more to decide off. So, um, but it would, be, it would be nice if we would have substantial decision, but the court is just, just overloaded with uh, different uh, interventional COVID uh, against uh, human rights uh, acts. So um, I understand. And chapter three. Uh, afterwards, uh, afterwards, the Ministry for Environment uh, uh, and Spatial Planning, nevertheless, uh, prepare, begin to prepare uh, some um, uh, some uh, cover uh, umbrella uh, legislative pieces. Uh, this is um, uh, Special Planning Act, Building Act, and Environmental Protection Act, and. Uh, there, they were all aligned with new, uh, new ideas of the ministry. Uh, in the Special Planning Act, in the draft, there was a provision uh, that uh, allowed access to justice uh, deleted. Well, afterwards, it was back, back again. Uh, now, it is the, the, this piece of legislation is in the final process in the parliament. Second one, Building Act, um, just uh, somehow repeated the new extra uh, condition for NGOs uh, for their legal standing in EIA procedures, uh, in um, uh, inside building permits. Uh, now it is also in the parliament. Uh, and uh, the new uh, draft of uh, new Environmental Protection Act uh, has also these new conditions. Uh, it is uh, not in the uh, parliamentary procedure yet. Um, but in the meantime, in, 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 uh, in July, just coincidentally, uh, there was from, from previous government, there was a piece of amendment of Nature Conservation Act in the parliament. And just from the sky in the last phase, drop, uh, drop down in it uh, uh, an amendment that, uh, that um, set the additional conditions for NGOs uh, to have a status in public interest for nature conservation. And um, this was adopted and I believe uh, Previously, uh, 74 uh, NGOs has this status, uh, but now only 30, because they uh, obviously they couldn't fulfill this new, uh, this new demands, uh, and they, they lost the, the status. Uh, chapter four, and there, uh, here the story turns uh, maybe in a little bit uh, uh, in a good way. So we don't have just uh, bad stories, but uh, some good ending. And as in Bosnia, uh, also here the river, the river has uh, has a, a main role. Um, it, it was about um, the government proposed. Uh, well, somewhere we lost the, the slide, but nevertheless, um, the parliament, uh, the the government proposed uh, to the parliament, and parliament adopted amendments to water, to water act, and these amendments, uh, 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 although although uh, the uh, public NGOs and experts were against it, uh, these amendments were about. Um, some additional broad range of uh, constructions that would be allowed on the shores of river uh, of rivers or, or water bodies. Um, so um, a group of NGOs uh, initiated the um, idea of a referendum and uh, start to, uh, to collect uh, the signatures. And in July, we had then the referendum because they succeed. Um, and uh, the, the referendum was really a big success. 
and the uh, the amendments of uh, water acts are uh, ha has been rejected. Uh, so it was also uh, high. Uh, uh, the voters, uh, it was high participation of voters, about uh, 40, 45%, uh, and over, uh, I believe, 87% uh, that were uh, for uh, the rejections. So uh, this was uh, first time uh, that uh, NGOs uh, succeed with such environmental uh, environmental case. And afterwards, in August, uh, the minister uh, and the ministry begin to communicate with NGOs regarding uh, the fi finalization of the draft of Environmental Protection Act. And um, we had a meeting and we put our arguments on the table and uh, the solutions we are against uh, and why we are against them. And the minister uh, promised us uh, that uh, um, he will accept uh, most of them and the legislation or the drafts will be changed. So uh, now we are in the phase uh, to, uh, we are waiting to see, to see um, the papers. So this is the story. Thank you. <laughs>